Welcome back to our traffic light project. In this video we're going to create a runner for our bulb and do some basic, use some basic methods to turn the bulb on and off. So let's get started. Create a new class and we're going to call it runner. And we'll need a static void main method and click finish. And just delete this comment. So we'll create an instance of bulb. So we'll say bulb bulb one is equal to new bulb. And we have to say whether it's going to be on or off. So in here we are passing in the result of um, the on method. So we'll go ahead and set it to true, which means that it sh should be on. Or we'll set it to false, which means the ball will be off. And then we'll go ahead and we can do stuff like print out um, the res whether the ball is on or off. And we'll run this one. And if we did it correctly, it should say the light is off. So we can then um, turn the bulb on. So we might want to say bulb one dot is on. And then we'll print out bulb one again. And we'll run it. And if we did it correctly, it's still off. Um, let's let me go back and check my method for uh, so we can turn it on by using the method turn on. So what we need to do here is instead of is on, we need to use turn on and then run it. And now it first printed out that the ball was off and now the ball is on. And so this basically creates like a light switch where we can use our methods to turn the bulb on or off or print them out and then print out whether the bulb is on or off. And what we're doing here is we're using the two string method. So if we it's well, we're, you can either print out bulb one because we have a two string method, or you can actually call the two string method to print it out whether the bulb is on or off. So calling the two string method or just calling bulb is the exact same thing. Now, what happens when we don't have a two string? So let's comment the two string out. So we'll use a multi line comment here, which is asterisk slash and uh, I'm slash asterisk and, and asterisk slash and now when we run this you'll see what happens so because we don't have a two string to tell us the state of the variable it actually prints out the memory space of um, the reference to the memory space where the class bulb is actually stored so this is why we need a two string because if we don't have it, we don't actually get this, the status of the variables in the class. We just get a reference to where the bulb is actually stored. So next what we can do is we can create uh, more than one light. and. We will do this next time in for our traffic light where we'll have three bulbs and we'll want to make each one a different color so therefore we'll have to add um, a field for color and we'll see you next time.